you had some really good habits when you were at home for the last 18 months, not really going out, right. whether it was your choice or you, um, or things were just closed up. Right. So because of that, you ate more of what you cooked. We're gonna start out making um, a galette, okay. which is going to have peaches and cherries, some cinnamon and sugar, and this is a really much more of a rustic approach to a pie. From a nutrition standpoint, cooking at home is just better, right? It is. You're not putting in as much extra stuff. I like to say, you know how much salt you're using, you know how much sugar you're using, you know all of those extras. Crust is all about a balance of flour, butter, and water. Step one, super cold butter. And we're just gonna pulse. And it's looking like wet sand. We're going to turn on the food processor and we're just gonna let it run. And you're going to slowly stream in water until the dough has just incorporated. So as close to a circle as I can get it. Yeah, or okay. a rectangle or whatever shape you think. Whatever I'm feeling you can today. Get. It's summertime, so we are in the height of bounty right now. And so this means we're gonna have the best of everything. Think of this as a circle. Okay. There's a circle in here somewhere. You find where that circle is going to be and we're gonna start placing the peaches in first. Now, I want you to put in some cherries. Got it. Now we're just going to fold this up. It all Look just comes together. He is a pro, there. ladies and gentlemen. That looks great. This 325 is what we're going to use for the convection oven. And then we're going to have it in for about 20 minutes. OK. This is dressing. So I'm slicing these. We leave here with 10 fingers and 10 toes, and that's a good day. It's always a good day when you end up with what you have. Now you can give it a, mince it up. Give it a chop. It's, yeah, I've done this before. Chef I've done this I've before. <laughs> And I'm sure he has done it before, but really, <laughs> he's a great sous chef. Yes, chef. We're just going to put in about a quarter cup of this red wine vinegar, give or take. I'm going to have you put in two parts. Next, we're going to put in a little basil. The family that cooks together stays together. And we're going to roll this up in a tight, nice coil, and then just right. makes it easier to cut. Yeah. Because we're just going to take this salmon out and we're going to cook four fillets. There's a couple of us here. And so that we have a real good sense of what salmon can look like. And then we're going to put, I'm going to season the salmon on the other side. Okay with just a little salt and pepper, again. I'm excited. <laughs> it smells so good in here. <laughs> but this now can um, go straight onto the grill. I use as many quick and easy um, methods to get a hot meal on the table for hungry people as I can. And salad is one of those that I say, okay, we're just gonna grab a good mix. We've got parsley down here, got a zucchini down here, mm -hmm. avocado down here, some cilantro down here, I yep. think. Ooh, and great tomatoes. Yep. So what we're going to do is just we're going to slice some of these up. Okay. And we're going to use those in our salad. This is the part that everyone always hurts themselves on. I'm going to do it on camera here. There you go. And I'm going to grab some plates and we're going to set our this table. meal. All right. Yeah. This takes... 25, 30 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. You have a great meal for four people mm -hmm. or more, two or less. Yeah. And you have something that you will come back to again and again. Mm -hmm.